so a while back, we filmed a video with a guy named Jay. His girlfriend Alexia ended up passing the test, so we decided to bring him back and have him help us find out if Charlie's girlfriend, Danny, would pass the test. Now, this was gonna be a gold digger test, so our job was to make Jay look rich, and man, we did. We got that man a very nice car and lots of expensive designer clothing. All right, here we go. How are you feeling? Just a lot, like a lot of intensity right now. I just hope everything works out. But before we get started with this test, I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know this shit's gonna be good. Okay, so today we are at a golf course because we are doing yet another test. Today, guys, we are helping Charlie find out if his girlfriend, Danny, is truly loyal to him or not. You know, I've always wondered, can we get in trouble for sitting here and recording people? With private property, now that we're in the parking lot. How do you think she's gonna do? I mean, I'm pretty irresistible, so I think she might care. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna wish any bad on anybody's relationship, but like I said, I, I'm that guy, so. Well, you know, hopefully they come soon, because it's so hot. Phase one of our test would begin at this mini golf course. The goal was for Charlie to bring his girlfriend here, by telling her that Ken had invited them to come play. Ken is pretending to, number one, be Charlie's friend, and number two, to be this YouTube vlogger who's vlogging this like little escapade that they're having. It's about time. Here comes your boy and his girl. What's up, Charles? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm Jay. How you doing? I'm Jay. Nice to meet you as well. How are you guys doing today? Good. With Charlie and his girlfriends now here, phase number one was officially underway. Hey guys, how you guys doing over there in that car? Don't look at your friend Anthony. He doesn't belong here no more. Why? There's a height limit. <laughs> Who invited her to the stakeout? Your kind is welcomed in my car, Anthony. Always and forever. <laughs> what do you mean your kind? Hello. Four. Mini golf? Yeah. I film like like vlogs and stuff, so I hope you don't mind it. Okay, yeah. Thank you so much. Right, thank you. So how are we doing? Is teams or is it every man for themselves? You know what I've noticed? This place is nothing full of kids. They're like the only adults. <laughs> I've seen like 20 kids go in there. You, is that baby by Who child is that? Did no one see that baby come out the door? Look, there's a whole school bus right there. Oh shit, the whole school bus of kids, bro. Oh wow, so close. Not bad. There are two things that we're trying to accomplish for phase number one, guys. The first one is simple. It's simply for Jay and Danny to meet, which they've already done so. You're getting there. There you go, man. I'm not gonna lie, it was getting kind of lonely at the top. I'm glad you made that. <laughs> now, the second thing that has to happen is Jay has to get Danny's phone number because that's gonna tie us in to phase number two. It's all in the hips, you know? All in the stroke. Now, phase number two is the money phase. That's gonna be the phase where Danny is gonna learn how rich Jay supposedly is. Now, it's our job to make Jay look rich, and we're gonna be doing that with the help of our friends at Hive.com. Hive.com is a luxury mystery box site that has the latest and greatest fashion and tech here in their boxes. Okay, let's open up a box here. Let's open up this. And nice, we got some Gucci shades. Okay, let's go. How's the restaurant treating you? Everything going good oh, over there? good, it's busy. Yeah. Busy, yeah. Now the cool thing about Hive.com is that if you get something that you don't like, you can actually sell it back to them and get some of your money back. Okay, let's open up this box right over here. And, ooh, Balenciaga shoes. Such a nice boyfriend holding the purse. It's a real man right there. Hey, Anthony, is Angel still being mean to you over there? Over. She's been mean to me my whole life, man. My whole life. Why don't you come over here and open up a mystery box with me? Over. Say less, I'm on my way. Over. Wow, y'all are fake. <laughs> Let's see that technique. There we go. You almost got in because you did the technique. So you just go ahead and swipe up. And, oh! Hey, yo, those are mine, right? <laughs> I get to keep them? I get to keep them, right? That's for Jay to make them look rich. Man, what the heck, bro? What I'm... about me? I want to look rich, man. What the heck? <laughs> They get to open mystery boxes. I want to open some mystery boxes. Oh, are they for real doing that? Yeah. So as you guys can see, Hive.com is a really dope site for gifting. And right now, every single box that you buy gets you tickets into their $100,000 Christmas giveaway. They also have this new feature called Battles, where you battle other Hive members on who gets a better drop. Hive.com is super dope and you can win lots of cool stuff, but keep in mind that it's not guaranteed that you will win what you want. So with that in mind, go check them out and just have some fun. Click on my link in the description below and use my code to get three free boxes plus a 5% deposit bonus. But okay, back to this test. Yeah, what do you, what do you do? Uh, I'm actually not working right now. I actually need to help with one of my businesses and if it's okay with your boyfriend, I could take your number now, we could talk about it later. Yeah, what is, what's it for? So I, I do a few different things. I do like Airbnb, I have a few cars in Turo. So I just need to help with like, you know, managing the day-to-day -day and you know, stuff like that. That's fun, yeah. 
Yeah, and the work is easy too. You'll love it. Like I said, I'll take your information down. We'll talk later. And yeah, like I'm free pretty much any time this week. You guys have a variety of cars? It's mostly exotic cars. You know, everybody in LA wants to be flashy, so. Did you say that you have been working there? I don't actually work for anybody. It's my business. Uh -huh. You're familiar with Toro, right? Yeah, a little bit. So I own a few different cars and I just kind of like, I rent them out. So it's your own business? Yeah, basically. Oh, yeah. I thought you were working. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm the boss, baby. Ain't no. Yeah, I'm too down for that. Are you guys doing like a photo shoot? I'm a vlog. Oh, nice. Want to say something to the viewers? Sure, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, Danny, it was fun. Um, is it cool if I took your number down so we can talk about the work opportunity? Yeah. Cool. So by telling Danny that he needed some help running his supposed Turo business, Jay was able to successfully acquire her Thanks. number. We'll be in touch. It was good to meet you, bro. You as well. Talk to you later. Talk to you. All right, bro. It's been a while. Yeah. See you around. Nice meeting nice you. Nice you. Take care. Thanks for having me. Cool. And just like that, phase one was officially wrapped. From here, Jay kept in touch with Danny and scheduled out a day and time to discuss more about Jay's Turo business. Oh my God, this is so sick. This is sick. <laughs> when I say a car is made for me, this is it. I'm a fly guy myself, but this car takes my flyness through the roof. It's a roof right here, but just imagine it wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? So Jay, a lot of people are probably gonna recognize you. And everybody wants to know, how are things with you and Alexia? It didn't work out. It didn't work out? Did you end up telling her that it was a test? Or did she end up finding out that she it was a test? She actually saw the video she on her own and she got mad and one thing led to another and now I'm single. Wait, she broke up with you because of she the video? She did. She felt like I shouldn't have been testing her loyalty. She had an issue with that and then that was the end of it. Oh my God. But as you can see, I'm doing better now. I'm in a fly car, so who cares? <laughs> yeah, we ain't worried about that. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! You can hear the horses, man. It's like some actual horses in the trunk or something. It's crazy. You know who's faster than a train? Who you? This car. <laughs> so on top of renting out this sexy beast to make his business look legit, we also had to make Jay look rich. We of course did that by letting him choose whatever he wanted to wear from the items that we got from Hype. Thanks to our friends at Hype.com, we're gonna make you look even richer. If this stuff fits you, I don't know if it does or if it doesn't. We got a Burberry hat, some Gucci shades right over here. Look at that. Ooh, that's okay. clean, huh? I don't know, Jay, man. This is putting you up there in the decoy billboards. I'm the fly guy of the year, what can I say? Question for you, are you gonna stick with the shoes? Because if you're sticking with the shoes, I'm gonna rock the Gucci flip-flops. Oh, those are all you, my buddy. <laughs> my shoes today. So we're gonna let the boys handle phase number two. I do not know how good of an idea that is, so hopefully they got it. You know what, I have faith in them. They'll be okay. Hello? Okay, cool, I'll be over there right now. Bye. Danny had finally arrived, which meant that phase two was in full swing. Can I can get over how nice that car is, bro. Yeah, it's really nice, but what's on the inside? The V8, that's what's on the inside. Oh, but all the material things. That matters, man. Love is what matters, okay? Love doesn't pay the bills, my friend. You think so? I know so. So uh, um, I thought about having a meeting upstairs in my apartment, but you know, why not show you what you're gonna be working with? Yeah, this is my latest purchase. Very nice. Wanna hop in? Just like you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Dang, a man who opens the door for a woman? I open the door for Angel. Angel opens the door for you. I love your car, it's so nice. Thank How you. long have you had it? I've had it for like a week now. This is my latest car I'm about to put on. Oh, so it's new, new. Yeah, brand new. It's the newest one in my 10 car fleet. Wow. Yeah, so yeah. you like it? I love it. Okay, cool, I love cool. the seats too. That means I made a good decision, right? I made a great decision. But yeah, though, so uh, yeah, what do you do for fun? Mostly just hang out. Sometimes I go out and party. Yeah. But I just like to be, you know, just chill mostly. What type of parties do you like? Um, it depends on my mood. Sometimes I like going crazy, and sometimes I just like to like have a drink and relax. Crazy, you say? Crazy, sometimes. That's sometimes. funny because crazy is my middle name. Oh, crazy is? Yeah, I'm gonna put the AC on a little higher. I was about to tell you to put on the heater, but it's okay. Oh, you're cold? <laughs> it's okay. I'll turn it down for you, bro. Anything you want, you get it. Oh. You know what? I, as many times as we've done this, I'm surprised no one has ever called the cops. Knock on wood. But yeah, let's talk about this job a little bit. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I told you a little bit about my business. Mm -hmm. I had cars on Turo. This is my latest purchase. And basically what you will be doing is like, you'll be the, the face of the whole organization or whatever. Okay. You'll be meeting customers, you'll be handing them keys, 
showing them how the cars work and you know stuff like that and you'll also be there to take the keys back and like you know make sure everything's okay with you know them renting the cars out okay sound good sound good yeah so why do you think you would be a great fit working for me um i just feel like i i'm very comfortable talking with people and i feel like i have a good personality you know people can feel the good vibes yeah. i definitely can so yeah because you have good I'm vibes talking. too oh yeah you think so yeah so i'm gonna drop the top how does that sound oh you have a top on this yeah, everything is fly oh my god that was badass, dude. You look like the Batmobile. I think I'm falling through right now, too. <laughs> that is so dope. You ever been in a car like this? I have not. Yeah. It's the first time for everything. Dealing with me is going to be a lot of firsts. This is very nice. So, a few more questions before we uh, you know, wrap this up. So, uh, Jay continues to talk to Danny about his Turo business to make everything look legit before taking her on a tiny test drive around the parking lot. Are you supposed to leave? Are we supposed to follow him? Wait, hold on. Okay. Hello. Hey, were we supposed to follow them? Because uh, Jay drove off. He drove off and you guys didn't follow him? We, we no. didn't know what to do! <laughs> you are supposed to follow him! Follow the action! <laughs> I was supposed to keep up with the Corvette, man! Yeah! <laughs> After a short drive around the lot, Jay eventually found another parking spot, told Danny that he'd be in touch, and wrapped up phase number two. We were now moving on to a brand new day and to phase number three. Throughout this time, Jay kept in touch with Danny about the job opportunity and managed to set up one last and final meetup at his supposed apartment. Now, of course, this would be no friendly meetup. It was finally time for Jay to ask Danny on a date. Our cameras were set up and rolling and everyone was in position. All we were waiting for now was for Danny to arrive. So it's nice to finally <sighs> sit next to you, my Guatemalan yeah. brother. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Okay, cool, I'll be right there. I think she just called him that she's here. Oh, man. How are you feeling? It's a lot, like a lot of intensity right now. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. hope everything works out, cause. Yeah, no, yeah. same, same dude, same. How's the drive over here? Cool, cool, you been having a good day so far? Of course I did. That's what's up. Well, uh, yeah, this is where I live. Uh, can I get you some water or snack or anything like that? Oh, okay, thank you though. Cool, cool. Jay makes some small talk with Danny before inviting her onto the couch and preparing to make his move. What about you? What are you doing this weekend? Uh, I'm chilling for the most part, you know. Yeah. You know how I get down. Nothing too crazy. This is it, moment of truth. <sighs> but yeah, though, um, I got you something. You got, I got you something. I think you're gonna love it too. I was shopping the other day and I saw something I think you might like. Tell me what you think. Did you get shoes? I sure did. Some special shoes just for you. How you do that? I sure did. What are you, like a, what, what size do you wear? Uh, about an eight. Uh, close enough. Close enough. Make them work. You did not get Take a look. Shoes. I sure did. They're right here in front of you. I'm not playing no games. I'm dead serious about everything. You bought me shoes. I did. Are you serious? I don't play around. You really got me shoes? I did. That's gonna make me cry. Well, I mean, if you start crying, I'll console you, so it doesn't sound like a bad thing. Those shoes are actually the Balenciagas that we want on Hype. We decided to get them in a small size and make it seem like Jay bought them for Danny. We didn't get her size right, but Jay could easily play that off by telling her that they could just exchange them. I'm like in shock right now. Well, this is real life. And I know we talked about the position a little bit, and I'm ready to move forward with you, but besides that, I mean, I think you're a beautiful girl, obviously, great personality, and I want to get to know you on a more intimate level. I have a boyfriend, though. Man, you don't got to talk about that. That seems more like a liability than a boyfriend. He can't take you on trips, he can't take you to do whatever you want. Is that somebody you want to be with? Okay, but I've been with him for like a year now. Yeah, but uh, things change. I don't know, I just... Besides the gift, besides the job, what do you say? It's just hard because I've been with him for... I get it, you've been with him for a year or whatever, whatever, but you can do without him. I think you can do much better over here. You think I can? I know you can. Okay. Wow. 
you say yeah because I bought you some shoes or I offered you a job because if you say no, you still get to keep everything, the job and the shoes and whatever else you want. Are you sure about this? I know, like I've honestly kind of had a crush on you since I met you. I had a feeling, I ain't gonna lie. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I feel bad, but like things are not really working out anyways. I mean, I want to do like more things with him and he's always, oh, I want to just stay home and do this instead. And like, I don't have any money to do this. And I don't know, it just, I think I'm really cool. Yeah, you, you're way too young and fine and you living like that. So that's the thing of the past. This is our future. So, here we are. Can I get a hug? You hungry? A little bit. Wanna go get a steak dinner with me? Yeah, sure. Cool, cool. I'll make a reservation right now. Okay. That's pretty much a wrap for me, man. Like, I... I... You look, I mean, look at her, she's like digging him. She's like completely into him. And I was working, you know, two, sh two shifts every day, you know, and then and for her to just does this to me, I'm pretty much done with her. She's gonna pack all her shit and she's gonna leave. That's it. She wants to go after the money or after these riches, then she can go ahead, go live on the streets and go find some rich guy. I, I did a lot for her. I, I, we, we've done so many things together and for her to pay me like this, no, I, that's pretty much her spitting on my face and I, I'm not gonna accept that. So yeah, it's over, it's done. I'm sorry, dude, I really no, am. No, that's fine. Are you sure this is like something that you thought about? Yeah, I knew since the moment I met you that I was interested in you in that way. I was just hoping you were on the same page, but it turns out you are, so here we are. True. I'm just a little in shock now. Hey, don't, don't be in shock. This is real life. I still can't believe you got my shoes, though. Yeah, there's plenty more where that came from. That's just the beginning. Do you want to leave things how they are? Do you want to go upstairs and just go in her? They just go in there and catch her. She has no idea what's going on. And she, she really thinks she's slick, but she's not. You know, like, it's the reason why we did this. Do you need, do you need like a minute or do you want to go upstairs right now? I, I do think, like, I am, yeah, I need a minute, need so, a minute. yeah. No worries, yeah, T take a minute and then we'll just pack everything over here really quickly and then we'll head upstairs and uh, you can have a conversation with her. I'm really, really sorry, man. I'm not gonna lie guys, Jay came to play. He spit his game and he was smooth as hell. Yeah, maybe the vet helped. Yeah, maybe all the stuff that we got from Hype helped. But at the end of the day, if Danny was truly loyal to Charlie, none of that should have mattered. Where are you gonna make the reservation at? So there's a few different options. What are you feeling? Mm, what's kind of close? I think there's a Mastro's close. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Cool, I'll make it there. Ready to go? Yeah, that's the best. Yes. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was worth the wait. And most importantly, I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know. This shit's gonna be good. Wow, really? Really, huh? So this is what's going on, huh? I knew it, I knew it. I thought I could trust you. What is this? What do you mean, what is this? We've been together for a year, you're just gonna disrespect me like that? You're just gonna do this to me? What are you doing? What are we, why are you looking at me like that? Like, what's going on here? How could you do this to me? Did you set this up? What do you mean I set this up? Of course you I set, set this, this up. up. Of course I set this up. Oh my God. Yeah, for oh what? my God. For yeah. what? That's embarrassing. Yeah, it is embarrassing. It is embarrassing. The fact that, that, that I can't trust you. Is it because of the money? Is it the whole money thing? The whole money situation? Or what's going on? Are like, you in this too? Hey, I'm not in here. So oh, no, 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 like no. A... So he, because he has more money, then you're going to go out with him? Wow. Okay. I don't have a Ferrari, a Corvette. I told you I'm working okay, on it. I told you we're working on it. But you're on. always, like, doing something. It's I'm always like, doing something. Yes, you yeah. are. Okay. You're always, like, so, fishing about something. Oh, something. I see. Okay. Yeah, so, I, so it's all about the money, just because I, I didn't say it was about the money. I said oh. it's like you're always, like, having an issue with something. Oh, Anything I, I do, you get pissed off at. No, I, I, you're I, working I, on it for how long now? Okay. All right. I'm done. I'm, I, it's over. Once you get home, Obviously, you know, hey, get home, pack your stuff, leave. You want to go out and, 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 and do what you want to do? Go ahead. Go ahead, man. She's all yours. She's all yours. I'm done. I'll so, see. Danny, just, just to clarify, like this entire thing was a test. Like none of it was real. Jay was actually in on this and he was actually like working with your boyfriend to find out if you would remain loyal to him or not. He actually doesn't even limp here. He doesn't have a Turo business. The shoes aren't even his. <laughs> He's just pretending to do that because he just wanted to find out if you would remain loyal to your boyfriend or not. Obviously um, not. 
Obviously not. Obviously everything we went through doesn't count for anything, right? You can't ask me a simple question. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we got you, we got you. You I got mean, me what? We got you, I mean. So all year we wasted. Oh my God. Why didn't you just tell me? Why didn't you just confront me? Like if it was such a problem with the money, you should have just told me. I don't care. Oh, you don't care. Now you don't care. Cause you got care. caught. Now you don't care. Cause you no, got caught. Care. Okay. You're embarrassing yourself. I'm embarrassing? You're I'm embarrassing, embarrassing okay. yourself. Yeah, okay. that was embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, well. The only one that should be embarrassing you. Oh, I am, I am. Now You're the one like, cheating. Good. I hope it yeah, yeah, no. yeah, whatever. I hope it okay. Did. That's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. Be okay. embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. Just walk away. You're always walking I away from everything. Jesus Christ, man. I can't believe this shit. Oh, man. Hit your front left bumper as I was pulling out. So sorry. Call us as text. This is going to be a headache. Dang. I think this makes this video longer now. <laughs> yeah, after that. Dude, you what the anything, heck? Do you have anything you want to say about this what situation? What the heck, man? Is, is there anything you want to say about this situation? What the heck, man? This car's a rental. <laughs> hey, see, text Anthony. What do you want to say? Hey, so I kind of need some cash to fix this Corvette. So you remember the Gucci slippers that we won on Hive? Question mark. What's your best price for them? I'll sell them to you. <laughs> no, I'm not going to send that to him. <laughs> Throw them Gucci slides on me. Take pictures of them. You know, IG stories. <laughs>